So recently, with everyone stuck inside, a lot of people have turned to art, making all sorts of things. So with this in mind, I decided I would show you guys one of my most favourite things to paint, and a few tips and tricks that I use. How's it going? So today we're going to be taking some old vinyl records and turning them into some pretty amazing art. First things first, you're going to need a few things as a minimum. A vinyl record and some acrylic paint with brushes. Instead, you could also use some paint markers. So if you're wondering where to get vinyls, trust me, go to any thrift store or op shop and you'll find tons of them. Quick tip, try to find records that don't work anymore because they're often a lot cheaper and you can get a bunch of them. I was even able to get 50 for $5 one time. For paints, I literally get my acrylics and brushes at the dollar store and they work great. And Markers, I either get them online at posca.com or I can get them in person at places like Officeworks or even your local art shop. Okay, so now that we have everything, what are we gonna paint? This is the point where most people stop and give up because it's too hard to think of ideas, so here are some tips and tricks that help me. My biggest tip when it comes to painting on records is that the more simplistic, the better. If you're a trained painter and do it a lot, then by all means, I wanna see you throw your amazingness all over that record. But if you're like me who paints every now and then just for fun, I find that often the more basic and simple ideas turn out the best. For example, I'm going to show you how I painted this. It's super easy and I'm going to tell you right now, silhouettes are your best friend. So I use spray paint to gradient my background, but you can just use paint, going from red to orange to yellow. Then with just black, you do the rest, starting with the ground, then leading up to the trunk and branches. And now the best part, just put some paint on your brush and dab it on to make the leaves. And boom, just like that, you have an awesome scene. Next up is something that I do a lot and it also makes a really great gift idea for friends. And that is to paint album covers straight onto the record. This sounds hard, I know, but there are ways to make it easier. Starting off by scaling the album cover to your record and then printing it out on a piece of paper. Then, with a pencil, scribble the back as much as you can. And afterwards, with a ballpoint pen, trace over the cover and it will transfer straight to the record. So then all you're left with is a paint by numbers and your very own record album. Alright, now let's imagine you've done that, you've absolutely nailed it, and you want to paint another record, but once again, you're stuck for ideas. When I get to this point, I love turning to the artists around me. On the internet. TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest all have great artists and ideas that you guys can get inspiration from. For example, I saw this video on painting water and wanted to try it out on a record. So if you're looking for inspiration, the internet is always great. Okay, so this last tip, idea, hack, I don't even know what to call it, is for people who really want to paint but have absolutely zero talent. Which, let me just say really quick, is absolutely impossible. But nonetheless, this one's for you. Paint your record one color and then get a brush with multiple colors and start flicking the paint all over it. This will literally always come out with a cool result and if you want to top it off even more, throw a quote or a word over the top. Hello. <laughs> fuck. And just like that, now you're an inner struggling artist. So guys, I really hope this helped and inspired some of you guys out there to just go and try something new. And if you guys do decide to do something like this, please send it to me. I would love to see what you guys create. And with that said, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. What was that? Hello, hi, you wanna focus? Dude, come on, hello? <laughs> focus on me. There we go. Hi, hello, it's me. You once again can't see my eyeballs. Um